and then this process then we try to identify that there is a gap the gap between my desirable state and current state and I am making the efforts to earn the physical facilities the effort to understand the true meaning of happiness and prosperity and ensure it is really required then for human beings physical in addition to physical healthy relationship is also required how much time and effort we are spending that also we try to identify for a human being relationship and physical facilities both are required for animals only physical facilities are necessary and largely adequate for human beings not sufficient then the right understanding is also essential for the human being right understanding is understanding the reality as it is we see this more in detail all the three are required and what is the priority right understanding as the first priority relationship second physical facility third with right understanding i am able to understand the relationships trust and respect there are nine feelings but tomorrow we will see two, two uh, feelings trust and respect with this now when i have this feeling within me that makes me happy and when i share these feelings with the other when other is also able to evaluate it the other also becomes happy and that is the mutual happiness with the right understanding i can identify my need of the physical facilities and i will be i will make it available from where do we get our all physical facilities we get from the nature food from the nature material for the clothes from the nature material for building my home from the nature so everything is coming from the nature while working with the nature i see that the nature is also in reach my need for the physical facilities also satisfied leading to the mutual prosperity but if my living is happening only for the physical facilities and if these two are missing the present status the right understanding and relationship then my living is happening similar to that of the animals i am unhappy i am making others unhappy similarly when this right understanding part is not there i am not able to identify my need of the physical facilities i feel deprived and i keep on exploiting and depriving the others so this is living with the human consciousness with all three right understanding relationship and physical facility right understanding as a first priority relationship second and physical facility third and this is the holistic development if my living is happening that i'm fine working only for the physical facilities only this circle is becoming more and more that is living with the animal consciousness and what is required is living with the human consciousness right understanding relationship physical facility in that priority and the role of the education is to take the human being from the animal consciousness to the human consciousness any question up to here yes so role of the education is development of the right understanding in every child we had asked this question in the beginning what parents really want in fact as a parent we also enroll our child in some school or college that it has to ensure so role of the education sanskar education is development of the right understanding and sanskar is living part commitment and practice of the living so education and sanskar this the role of the education sanskar is to enable this transformation by way of ensuring the development of the competence to live with the human consciousness and definite human conduct and for this it has to ensure the right understanding in every child the capacity to live in relationship with other human being and capacity to identify the need of the physical facility 
the skills and the practice for sustainable production of more than what is required leading to the feeling of prosperity that is the role of the agent required for the transformation what is required right understanding in every child what is the present status missing capacity to live in relationship with other human being that is also missing capacity to identify the need of the physical facility skills and practice for sustainable production and right utilization but what is the present status identification of need of the physical facility is missing the willingness to produce by way of labor is also missing the core feeling generated is to accumulate more and more consume more and more rather than produce what is required and utilize it right so holistic development is transformation to the human consciousness so this is a human being living with the human consciousness and this is the proposal for holistic value based development so at the level of the individual this in fact we are also going to consider when we uh, explore the harmony in the society but if we see at the level of the individual what is expected is that development of the full human potential and in fact these are some <coughs> common graduate attributes also given in nba at the level of the society for every individual what is the common goal right understanding and right feeling in every individual leading to the happiness at the level of the family prosperity every family will feel prosperous there is a fearlessness or trust in the society and there is a coexistence mutual fulfillment with the nature this is the common goal you can check within yourself is this your goal also we are living in a society and as a unit in the society as a part of the society what is my goal this is a goal for me it is a goal for each one of us present in fact it is a goal for every other human being are you able to see this <laughs> so this is now the aspirations articled in nep 2020 with human education sanskar human education education part is development of the right understanding and sanskar is living part a child with human education sanskar can develop the human world vision and with that he will be able to explore the human values with that ethical reasoning we need the human conduct and he can be a part of the human society human culture and the civilization but if you look presently see this is the crucial missing link which is there child is not able to identify what is required for him and what is required for the others the human values you see the human values the guidelines for the human values are they are universal they are applicable to every human being they are rational they are not in the form of do's and don'ts they are verifiable i can verify them in my living and leading to the harmony the case studies of this human thought human culture can be done and world class value guided skills can be developed education and practice nature friendly and human friendly and this with this 
can have the equitable and just society from village, village block, city, district, state and nation and that will be the national development. So this is about we can say the guidelines for the human values that they are universal, content needs to be universal, applicable to all the human beings through at all the times and all the places. It should not depend upon the sex, nationality, race, gender etc. They are rational with logical <coughs> reasoning. They are not based on blind beliefs, do's and don'ts. They are verifiable and they are leading to the harm. So, these are the UHVs and in fact there are so many programs you can just see that they are exactly similar that Eka, Manota at the level of the living in UHVs we are discussing individual, family, society then also we are discussing from individual to the collective at the level of the human being Body, body is a material thing, self that we will see in the next session, consciousness, mind. So here also we are discussing point, body, mind, soul, panchakosh, all these things. We are talking about the right understanding, resolution, prosperity, relationship and coexistence. We are discussing about the spiritual, then intellectual, mental, cultural, social, economical and political. So human being living with a human consciousness, this is the goal. Now as a human being, my living happens at four levels. I am living as a human being, I am a part of the family, I am a part of the society, I am a unit in the nature. And right understanding means understanding the harmony at the four levels. And this samskar part is living at these four levels. So this UHV course is about, in fact it is education samskar, where as we see during the first slide, the proposals are shared with the child. In fact, whatever that is observed as a reality, that is shared in the form of the proposals and then we facilitate, we motivate the child to explore these proposals. So these are, you can say, some links which are available. Now if there is any question, you are free to ask. In fact, I was expecting some question in between the sessions, but uh, if there is any question, you can ask. Yes? Uh, I am subject to correction. Mm. Uh, the thing or uh, observation I have is I am even in the academic uh, level. Uh, sir, do we need to change or fix the academic curriculum to achieve this holistic development or a value based education? Sir, how do you achieve in a semester system? Mm. Uh, exactly the semester system is a disaster to the students and even to the faculty because there is a big procedures. Mm. So, when in the semester system, how do you achieve this value based education? Because so, features have become content transformers. So that is where the change is required. In fact, uh, presently uh, NEP also, where they can say this uh, UH. In fact, there are so many components which are coming right now. Our education is totally skill based, and we are being so much governed by this assumption that my child should know this, my child should know this. There are, for example, if I am from civil engineering, some 40 subjects are there. And whenever you can say the syllabus is being said, syllabus setters think that these 40 subjects from civil engineering a child must know. And if there is a suggestion that this value education should also be there, they think that where is the time for this? But the problem is that a child may learn these 40 subjects, but if that value education part is not there, this entire information about 40 subjects may not be of any use to that. So now this is being made a part of the syllabus. 
and the institute where in fact even wherever this is a part of the syllabus and whenever they are uh, fixing the time table uhv lecture put in the evening yes. but wherever this is being wherever the teachers they have tried to understand this and wherever this has become a part of their living and one base one more major difference is that the teacher who is sharing this uhv this living should be a this entire uhv should be a part of his living because whenever these proposals are being shared first thing is that that student will check that in teacher and uh, when he sees that the teacher is not only sharing this but teacher is living according to these proposals means it is possible to live according to these proposals it is possible to live this way then the student will try to verify that in his life then only this is possible in fact wherever teachers have explored and they are sharing this content in a proper way the attendance for uhv lectures is same as the attendance for first lecture or second lecture or third lecture sir may i ask something ah, yes yes sir whatever you told sir second session on UHV, but anyway, I think uh, full days, this is the fourth session, but UHV, second session. And in this session, we are trying to explore harmony in the human being, understanding the human being as coexistence of the self and body. Others are coming, Means they are expected. So, So now, this is this one we call as the master slide. In fact, hereafter, for every session, we we'll try to we share this slide. What is the basic human aspiration? Continuous happiness and prosperity. In fact, uh, the purpose of first session is. to help the participants identify their basic aspiration that is continuous happiness and prosperity and having identified my basic aspiration and now i want to have a program for the fulfillment the program includes the program is understanding the harmony at four levels as you can say i am a human being and my living happens at four levels i am living as a human being i am a part of my family i am a part of the society i am a unit in the nature or existence i want to understand harmony at the four levels the process of the exploration is the process of the understanding and here really we want to explore what is who am i and what is my purpose now when we talk about human being now we are trying to understand the human being he is a human being only body or there is some other reality also yes self awareness self awareness yes so when you talk about the human being there are two realities to be understood one is we are very much aware about one that is a body so body we can see right in fact we sense it but let's say you can say the body is there i can touch and we are aware about the body but there is one more reality many times we use this word i want to be happy who wants to be happy body many times we use the word i want to do this i want to do that whom we are referring when we use this word i that we want to explore here we want to explore the other reality as far as the human being is concerned so the proposal here is human being is not a mere body human being is a coexistence of the self and the body 
मैं और शरीर सो ह्यूमन बींग प्रपोजल हियर इज ह्यूमन बींग इज नॉट मेयर अ बॉडी ह्यूमन बींग इज अ को एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी एंड नाउ to explore this proposal we are going to explore their names it is very important it is important for me to understand these two realities because unless i understand these two realities i will not be able to fulfill their needs adequately and that is what is happening today so here i want to understand myself who am i i want to understand the human being the proposal is human being is a coexistence of self and the body self is there body is also there these two realities are existing and coexistence means human being is a coexistence of self and the body now to understand these two realities let us try to explore their needs need of the self is happiness for example respect when somebody respects me i feel happy <coughs> need of the body is a physical facility bhautik suvidha for example food need of the body is food need of the self is happiness for example respect in terms of time in time the need of the physical facility is temporary for example we can say during the lunch break all of us have taken the lunch and after that we don't anything for maybe we can say for one hour or two hour maybe in a day how many times we take the food some limited times so the need of the food is temporary need of the self is continuous need of the respect is continuous if i am in a college or school college timing may be 9 to 5 during this 9 to 5 time how many times we take the food maybe during the lunch break and maybe some guest comes there is a meeting like that <coughs> but when i am taking the lecture when i am in the meeting when i am talking with the parents when i am talking you can say i am in the you can say playground every moment i want the respect i want to be happy so this need is continuous even there is a short break that is not acceptable to me i am in a meeting i am saying something if somebody else objects to it if he just shows some disrespect even that moment of this respect is not acceptable to me i want this continuous are able to see that need of the body is temporary <coughs> need of the self is continuous need next one need of the body in quantity need of the body is quantitative required in limited quantity for example in a day an adult requires a 2 to 3 liters of water how much food i can take some limit can i say the same thing about the respect can i say i want 2 liter of respect that will look humorous can i say i want 2 kg of trust no it is a feeling it is qualitative either it is there or not yes or no so need of the body so this is about the need of the self and need of the body need of the self is happiness for example respect in terms of time it is continuous it is qualitative it is a feeling need of the body is a physical facility for example food it is required temporary and it is quantitative now this is temporary need of the body is temporary i can i make it continuous can i keep on eating the food is it possible no so this is temporary if i try to make it continuous i will be trouble the need of the self is continuous if there is a break then that is not acceptable to me i will be in trouble right are you able to see this any question about this
Now, if these two needs are different, first question, are these two needs, they are a different type or same type? These two needs, need of the self and need of the body, are they of the same type or different type? Yes? They are of the same type or different type? <coughs> yes? Need of the self is happiness, it is continuous, it is qualitative, need of the body is physical facility, is temporary and it is quantitative. So are they of the same type or different type? Different type, right? They are a different type? Yes, no? We will be sharing all these uh, PPMs, jitne bhi PPTs in the PDF, uh, I will send to the organizers. Aapka kuch WhatsApp group rahega na? Okay, or they will share all the PPTs with you. Okay. So, next. Now, second question. Are both the types of the needs important? Do we want to fulfill both the types of needs? Food is required or not? Yes. Happiness is, respect is required or not? Yes. So, both the types of the needs are important. Do we want to fulfill both the types of the needs? Yes. We want to fulfill both the types of the needs. And are we working to fulfill both the types of needs? Are we working to fulfill both the types of needs? Yes, no? And what is the priority between the needs of the self and needs of the body? Needs of the self are more important or needs of the body or what is the priority in fact between the two? Yes? Need of the self are have higher priority or need of the body have a higher priority? Self. Need of the self. Just check the need of the food. We spend lot of time in educating ourselves. We complete the education, we do a job so that we can earn the physical facilities with the respect. Otherwise, we can simply stand in a queue and somebody will throw the food at us, but that is not acceptable to us. The need of the self has a higher priority. When you are hungry, at that time also need of the self is more important? Yes. yes. In one of the workshop, one participant had said, Sir, when, if I'm, whenever I am hungry, then need of the food will have higher priority. When it is okay, I go home and then I tell my wife, I am very hungry. Then from kitchen she comes out, one roti is there, she throws the routine A and says catch this. <laughs> Will I accept that? Need of the self has a higher priority. While we are trying to understand the human being, in fact during the higher courses, the self, the need of the self is all that we discuss. Body is only a material. We need to understand the human being, then only we can fulfill their needs separately, adequately. If these two needs are of different types, the way of their fulfillment will be also different. The need of the body is fulfilled by physiochemical things. Body is itself is a material thing, its needs are fulfilled by physiochemical things, Bautik Suvirai. Need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right feelings. Right understanding means understanding the reality. In fact, the need of the self, happiness is fulfilled by the right feelings which will be by the right understanding. Right understanding is understanding the reality, understanding these feelings. So if you see now, this is 
very important. The need of the body is food. The needs of the body are fulfilled by the physiochemical things. Need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right feelings. How we can ensure the need of, how we can fulfill the need of the self, need of the self is happiness. That we can fulfill only by right understanding and right feelings. We cannot fulfill this. This is a continuous need, something which is required continuously, that I cannot fulfill by something which is required temporarily. Are you able to see this? Yes? Are you able to see this? That need of the happiness can be fulfilled only by right understanding and right feelings. It cannot be fulfilled by these material things, physical things. In one of the uh, colleges, there was this young professor and quite cheerful every day he will come to the staff room, crack the jokes and he was newly married some 2-3 years into the marriage and then one day he came to the staff room and was looking very depressed and then he was sitting, everybody was observing what has happened to this young professor then he went to the lecture, came back again just sitting like that only and then finally in the afternoon one professor asked him what happened sir since morning you are looking very depressed he said no sir what has happened uh, two year two days back i had some argument with the wife and since the last two days she is not speaking with me then there was one elderly professor he said so such a simple problem why you are worried you know which color your wife likes so while going home, just purchase one sari of that color and give that gift to your wife and the problem will get solved. He became very happy, yes. And then he got excited he, while going home. Then he purchased a sari of that color and you can say even the design, he went home, gave that sari to his wife. He said, this is my gift. She also got excited. And now they again started talking. But my question is, is the problem solved or problem postponed? <laughs> yes. And that is what we are doing. What wife really wants is this and that will come by right feelings. We are trying to fulfill the need of continuous happiness by physiochemical things. Just two more days or eight more days, one more argument, one more gift and like that. And that is not possible. So we need to understand the feelings, we need to share the feelings for the happiness, the need of the physical facilities all these physiochemical things is are they are required only for the body there is you can say that is the only purpose the needs of the body cannot be fulfilled by right understanding and right feelings alone if somebody is hungry then require the food but for making the choice of the food, right understanding is required. So need of the body is physiochemical thing. It cannot be fulfilled by right understanding and right feelings alone. Needs of the self cannot be fulfilled by physiochemical things. Needs of the self cannot be fulfilled by physiochemical things. Both the types of the needs have to be understood separately and both the types of the needs have to be fulfilled separately. I have to understand both the needs separately and fulfill both of them separately. There is one more question. 
in living what is the priority and how much time and effort is spent for the right understanding and right feelings and how much time and effort is spent for physical facility in a day how much time i spend for right understanding and right feelings in fact how much time for how much time in a day we as family members sit together and when for how much time sir aap bata for how much time we sit together as family members and discuss and share the feelings very less sabhi ke liye in fact most of the times we sit together only during the dinner right and what is the discussion that discussion is mostly about this hardly there is any discussion about right feelings and right understanding child neither gets that at home nor at school or college but our expectations from that child are very high in fact uh, this is a uh, you can say a uh, sharing uh, done by one of the didis she is from punjab and she was attending this workshop for the second time uh, she had a daughter who was uh, some 6 7 year old and she said whenever she just was to start for the school from uh, for college at that that in daughter used to cry mummy don't go stay at home and then she will tell that daughter no beta i have to go and you stay with the maid i will come back later and then she said and then what she said that every time when she used to come back from the college the moment door opens wherever the her daughter is she will keep she will come running and she will hug the didi means her mummy she said that was our general practice and that was happening somewhere along that one day when, uh, when i was going for the college and when that daughter was crying then i told her beta don't cry i will bring something for you and she said then i brought one chocolate for her and maybe like this and then that became a practice that every day i will bring something for her some day toy some day some uh, chocolate you can say ice cream and all these things but then she said what i can say after some time some months i observed a marked difference in my daughter's behavior that now when i come back from the duty and when the door opens wherever she is she will keep she will come running but she will not hug me now she will simply stand by my side and she will ask me mummy what you have brought for me and whatever i give her maybe chocolate or that she will simply take it she will go off. and then she said this was disturbing me a very lot this dryness in the feelings dryness in the relationship was disturbing just now she is 7 8 year old what had happened when she becomes 20 year old and like that but i was not able to understand the problem and get the solution but then she uh, attended this first uet workshop and when this uh, session was going on she said i understood the problem and also the solution and then she said when next time <coughs> i went home and when that daughter was crying i told her beta i have to go because that is a duty but when i come back we just decide what we are going to do and then she said after coming back i didn't bring anything for her but then after coming back i used to spend half an hour with her and was fresh up i will sit with her maybe we will uh, play together or i will tell her a story or she will sing or i will sing we will discuss something and every day i just while going i used to tell her beta just decide what you are going to do today and suppose now if i have to give some instruction then i will give that instruction sitting with my daughter only and then she said just you can say after some time after 2 3 months again i saw that change that whenever that door opens 
that daughter wherever she is, she will come running and she will hug. Are we able to get the point? Physical facilities have got very limited role. What happens if we give the child only physical facilities and if this part is upset, the child doesn't know what are the feelings and how to share the feelings. And when we get retired, in fact if you see the retired people, all those people who those have retired, what is their common complaint? Nobody from my home has a time for me. Mera beta aata hai, duty se baita hai, kuch apne dosto se baat karta hai, karta hai, khana khata hai, so jata hai, usko mere saath baitne ke liye, baat karne ke liye time nahi. But when that son, he was a child, during that child, if this has not happened, the development of the right feelings, that poor child doesn't know what are the feelings and how they are to be shared. When he was a child, he didn't receive this. He has become young. He himself has become a father. He doesn't know how to share the feelings. Can he share the feelings? Mm -hmm. Being able to sit with the father and talk for half an hour, one hour? Depends. The values are taught. Values also can be taught. But many times this doesn't happen. Many times son may be out of the country, he keeps on sending dollars and many times he says, what is the problem, I am sending you the dollars, I am sending you the money, so big home is there, AC is there, maids are there, what is your problem, why you are complaining? And what the parents are saying, you at least come back in six months, one year, talk to us, come here, stay with us. Because when he was a child, we are bombarding him with the physical facilities. He becomes now, you can say, he also starts doing job, he starts getting the money and he is also giving parents same things. But this is a need of the body only. Self can be happy only by right understanding and right feeling. Are we able to see this? So it is very important to understand ourselves first that I am not a bod body only, I am a human being, I am a coexistence of self and the body. And that is what we are trying to do, we are trying to understand these two realities separately. Next, activities of the body are eating, walking. Activities of the self are desire, thought and expectations, together we call that as imagination. I have some desires, for example, desires to get promotion, desire to get the salary rights, desire to purchase a car and for that some thoughts are running in me. Should I do the PhD or should I do the publications for my increment promotion, I want to purchase a car which company, which type of fuel, from where, how I am going to arrange for the money. So many thoughts are there. I have some expectations. My HOD, my principal will recommend me. I will get a good guide to complete my PhD. Maybe bank will sanction my loan. So I have got these expectations. The activities of the self are continuous. Desire and expectation that we call as, that is an imagination and that is continuous in me. Is it possible to stop our imagination? Try to do it. Can you stop our imagination? It is continuously there. Activities of the body are eating, walking. Can we do that continuously? Can I walk continuously? Body will get tired. We have to give rest to the body. So activities of the body are temporary. Everything for the body is temporary, everything for the self is continuous. Are we able to see this? Any question up to here? Is there any activity of the body which is continuous? Any activity of the body which is continuous? 
ये कोई कोई एक्टिविटी भी जो कंटिन्यूस है ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द बॉडी आर टेम्पर बिकॉज बॉडी इज सेल्फ इज टेम्पर ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द सेल्फ आर कंटिन्यूस नीड इज कंटिन्यूस इमेजिनेशन इज ऑल्सो कंटिन्यूस द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द बॉडी रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द बॉडी इज रिकॉग्नाइजिंग एंड फुलफिलिंग ऑल मटेरियल्स If I put my hand in the water, what will happen? It will become wet. Do this one hundred times. Same thing. The hand recognizes relationship with the water and fulfills that. Any two materials. In fact, all physics, chemistry is about that only. How two materials when they come in contact with each other, what will happen? So the response, they recognize the relationship and fulfill the relationship. If you take one needle and try to prick here, if the needle is sharp, it will enter the skin. If that needle is blunt, it will not enter the skin. So that is 